how do you draw the line between those yeah. things? And how do we ensure that the muscles that we're building for this future are stronger and not weaker? Yeah, it's interesting. I mean, I think we're always going to find new things to struggle with. <laughs> and I mean, it's you can always get better at communicating with other people and kind of expressing yourself and understanding other people. So having a tool that can help you do that better isn't going to mean that like, oh, now we perfectly understand every, you know, it's, I mean, yeah. um, and I mean, I think the, maybe one of the most functional aspects of this, you're already seeing a lot of these AI models really help people with coding, right? Like a generation ago, um, before I, I was getting started, a lot of coding was like, really low level system software. And, you know, then by the time that I got into it, there's a little bit of that, but, um, you know, you can make websites pretty easily, make apps pretty easily. And I think in 20 years or a lot sooner than that, um, you're going to basically be in a world where kids will be able to just describe the things that they want and build incredibly complex pieces of software. So it's, um, in that world, are kids going to be not struggling? I, I don't think so. I think that they're going to be just um, expressing their creativity. And, and it'll it'll be this kind of constant iterative feedback loop around like, okay, like, yeah, I 